This is my strawberry lemon carnival cake. And I call it a carnival cake because it's colorful and it's fun and it's also delicious. So we're going to start off by making the cake portion, which is the bottom of the cake. And I have here a cup of flour and I'm going to add to that a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and about a half a teaspoon of salt. Get those out of here and just mix them up together. Now I'm going to start by putting my three egg yolks. I separated the eggs, the whites are off to the side. We're going to use those in a few minutes. Put my egg yolks in and three quarters of a cup of sugar. And now I'm just going to mix these up until they get thick and blended well. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla at this time. Give that another mix until it's blended. And then I'll add the milk and the rest of the flour to make a batter. the rest of the flour and by the way that was one quarter cup of milk. And I'll get my pan ready. Let me talk to you about the pan before I turn the mixer on. This is a jelly roll pan. It's a 10 by 15 pan. It's a little bit smaller than a half sheet cookie sheet. Uh, these are readily available in most stores and as you can see mine's pretty well used. I've had this for many years. It's a good quality heavy duty. I have also over the years bought some not less expensive, I won't use any other words for it, um, jelly roll pans and I regretted it from the beginning because in the heat sometimes they warp in the oven and they're just a mess. Invest in one good one, you'll have it for a long time. Like I said, I've had this at least 20 years. So I'm going to put the batter in that when it's all done. Now, before I finish that, I've got the two egg whites here and a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I could do this on a mixer or I could do it with a wire whip, but I'm gonna do it with my egg beater because it's just easier for me to do it. And I like it, I think it's fun. I'm just putting a towel on the table just so it doesn't go sliding all around. I'm gonna beat these till they're stiff. I like using the old-fashioned tools sometimes. We're getting there.
almost. Just want to get all the stuff from the sides. Give this another whip. And now what I need to do is fold these into this. And that will lighten up the uh, batter a lot. Then just folding. Don't want to mix it too hard because you want to keep as much of that volume in those egg whites that you just whipped in. But you do want to blend it enough so that you don't see any white streaks. Now while I'm doing this, I've heated up my oven to 400 degrees. Pretty warm oven. And what I'm going to do is put the cake in there for about 12 or 13 minutes. Last time I made this, it was exactly 13 minutes. So, but I'll check it at 12. Okay, that almost done. Just checking to see if I blended everything. There aren't any white streaks. Looks pretty good. spatula. Again, one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. Just spread it out. We are actually going to make a jelly roll out of this. That's why we're using a jelly roll pan. And we're going to use strawberries, strawberry jelly, not jam, jelly in the filling. Okay, so into the oven for about 12 or 13 minutes. While our jelly roll is in the oven, we need to get a cloth ready. This is a dish towel that does not have a nap on it. It's nice and, you know, there's no fuzz that's going to come off on the, on the cake. Because we're going to roll the cake into this. And what I need to prep it with is some confectioner's sugar in my little sieve here. This will help the cake not stick as much to the cloth when we roll it up because that cake's going to be really warm because we're going to take it out of the oven and right away put it down on this cloth. And that's all we have to do until the cake is done. Here's our cake out of the oven. And you have to do this quickly because you don't want it to stick. Okay. I had that lined with parchment paper and that pan was greased and floured. So now I will roll up my cake. The towel gets rolled right into it. And now we're going to just let this sit off to the side, seam side down. For, until it cools off completely, and that could be 20-30 minutes. So while we're waiting, we'll go with the next step, because this takes a little while. I'm going to start working on the mousse, the um, lemon mousse that goes on top of this cake. So it's one package of lemon flavored gelatin. I'm sure you're all familiar with that, and I'm sure you're all familiar with how to make it, but we're going to go through it anyway. One cup of boiling water. Okay. 
And at this point, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of pure lemon extract. That's going to bump up the flavor a little bit. That. Oh, wow, it's going to smell nice. But that's the difference between pure extracts and imitation. Get the pure stuff. Believe me, you'll be much happier in the end. It costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. Okay, and now I need a cup of cold water. Yep, there we go. And what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put this in my refrigerator. While this is cooling down, this will cool down. And I need it to get to that gloppy stage, you know, where it's just getting kind of lazy if you push it around. So that's where I want it. And then we're going to add cream to this. So into the refrigerator and I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. Here's our cake, cool down. Now I'm going to unroll it and do this carefully because don't forget this cake still is delicate. It will, might crack on the sides. I got a little crack there, not too bad, but don't worry about it because it's not going to show. Okay. Now here I have some strawberry jelly not jam because I wanted it smooth. I didn't want it, you know, big hunks of strawberry in there. And this is approximately a small jar and a half. I don't know if I'm going to need it all. Start out with this. Spread it. You want to get it all the way to the edges. Not too thick. You know, you could do this with any other flavors that you happen to like. I like this, the combination of strawberry and lemon. The other day I made this more strawberry and I used, instead of the lemon mousse, I used a strawberry mousse. And it's good, the flavor was all there, you know, nice, but it wasn't carnival enough to me. I wanted more of color to really make it pop out. You could do this also with orange mousse and if you wanted to you could do raspberry jam you know that would be good with the with the lemon too okay almost there so i used not i used probably a jar and maybe a quarter and now we're going to roll it up again so start on this end now you know why you need the sugar so that it and stick too badly. Don't worry if it breaks because we're going to cut this all up anyway. Here's our roll. Now I've got a cutting board here that I'm going to move this to. And boy, that's going in the wash. Wipe my hands off a little. Now, what I have is a nine inch spring form pan. This is a nonstick pan. Um, if it, if you have one of these that's not nonstick, just spray it lightly with some sort of a spray. I also made a wax paper collar around the sides. Um, it helps hold the sides in and it peels off and makes a nice finish. You don't have to do that. I've done it many, many times without the collar and it still comes out just as nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these into rounds and we're going to fit it across the bottom so the cut side is up. And then when you cut the cake later, you're going to see these lines. And you want to cut it to fit, so you want the whole bottom covered. So we might have to cut little pieces and stick them in here and there. So let's go. Just try to keep your pieces approximately the same thickness so you don't have a bottom like this. And there's your jelly roll. 
I'm going to stick it right there. Another one. This gets to be a messy job because my hands are all covered in jam. You really push them in there so they're really snug. Again, you could do this if you didn't want to do the strawberry jam you could make some lemon curd or oh, you can even buy the lemon curd um and put the lemon curd in here and then make a strawberry mousse on top that would be really nice too so many combinations fitting it in there Said really just jam them in there. Now I have an odd spot in here that's not going to take a whole round, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to eyeball it, cut a piece to fit in there. I need another small piece. Fit it in. Let me see how we're doing here. I got one little corner there that needs a little bit of something. Okay. Now, there's my my uh, pan filled with the jelly rolls get this out of the way for a moment and now I also cut some strawberries and I'm gonna put those along the sides but I'm not gonna put them butted up against each other I'm gonna leave a space so it's sort of get a stripe effect and I'm putting them cut side out and I am so sticky over here Just going to put this off to the side and just wait for our um, lemon gelatin to set or get glumpy as I said before we add the cream to it to make it a mousse. So I'll see you back when it gets glumpy. Okay so our jello or gelled gelatin is getting gloppy as you can see so now it's time to do the cream. So I'm going to put in one cup of heavy whipping cream into my mixer and I want this to become soft peaks I do not want hard peaks it'll be hard to blend but it really doesn't matter you'll see what I mean to the gelatin.
mix it in, but I'm going to use a wire whisk, I think. Doesn't matter if I deflate this a little bit. It's going to still get nice and set later on in the refrigerator. And because this is a carnival cake, and I want it very colorful, I'm going to add some yellow food dye, because this is very pale. I want it to be much brighter. Here we go. There's a yellow. Here's our pan with the cake in it and the strawberries. And we're going to add this. And now that is going to have to go in the refrigerator Oh, for at least three or four hours until it really sets up. But if you're really lucky and you have some left over, you can make little puddings like that and have a nice dessert. But we're going for the big thing today. This will be mine for later. So into the refrigerator and I'll show you what it looks like after we take it out and unmold it. Well, here we are. It's been in the refrigerator for about three hours. I'm going to take the spring form off. There's the collar I told you about. And there's our pretty cake. And I've got some fresh strawberries here which I sliced. I'm just going to make a ring around the top. Just add more fruit to it and give it more of an even more festive look. Again, as I said, you could have made this and you could have made this instead of lemon, you could have made it orange, you could have made it strawberry again, or lime if you want to, but I, somehow lime and strawberry doesn't quite make it the same. And then I've got some chopped strawberries, but I've also got some candy lemon peel, which I made yesterday. Um, I'm not going to go into how I made it, but if you want the recipe, you can go to the website and it'll be with this recipe. So I'm going to take some of these chopped strawberries and just put them in the middle and then just put a one or two of these just on top to kind of add a little prettiness to the cake. And there is our carnival cake. So let me just get a dish and a knife and I'll cut you a slice. Got a dish and a knife and we're ready to cut our cake. But I'm going to make it even a little bit more special. I have my own homemade strawberry sauce. And what I, how I did this was I bought these frozen strawberries in sugar and I defrosted them. I put them in my food processor and mixed them up until they were nice and smooth. And then I put it through a sieve to get rid of any excess seeds. And there you have some beautiful strawberry sauce. So I'm going to put a little bit on the, on the plate. Just here and there. Now, cut into our cake. Push it off the pedestal here. And there's our strawberry cake. 
I think I'll even put just a little bit more on here. That is a really, really good dessert. Great for spring, summer, whenever. <laughs> 